stream Twitch or YouTube? I'll do Twitch if you like. So I get the YouTube today, is it? Yeah, man. Um, so we are live. Yeah, we are live. Um, we are live. If I look a bit confused, I'm using a new webcam and it's throwing me off. I'm going to turn <laughs> volume down. Don't want to hear the switch. Yeah, good idea. Um, so, yeah, we've got uh, Lewis Humphreys, Anthony McGovern and Ben Kiffin. Uh, who will be joining us. I'm just going to get them invited in now. It's been a while, everyone, anyway, so we haven't, we haven't done this for a while. I know, yeah. It has been a little while, hasn't it? We inadvertently took a, like, two-week break. Yeah. Yeah. Really. They Completely not meant to, but, you know. But yeah. It's I don't really know if my internet's just shit, but we've gone blurry on YouTube. Man, it uh, looks all right. Okay, it's my internet then. Okay. Yeah, so we keep that. Yeah. Um, we have sent the invites. Uh, I'm getting used to this mic stand as well. Just it being there, not having to come down here as much. <laughs> yeah, we have we have new equipment. Basically, there's my microphone as you can now see. Um, looks stupid. It's it's actually a lot closer to me than it looks. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I don't want like it right there though. So I'm gonna move it back again. <laughs> Just make sure it doesn't fall over and we're good. I know. Well, I've got it kind of... I've had to have it pointed up, in a way, to be honest with you. So. Yeah. Um, let me just put in sort of Instagram that we are live. Uh, let everyone know. Did you see my message about Jack Shaw, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. He got it submitted. Yeah, I was watching that before I come up. Um, I just so happened to turn over and it was like in the middle of the first round. So I thought, eh, I watched it yesterday and it got submitted in the second. So I'm a bad luck, apparently. That, that's what I've determined from that. <laughs> yeah. Just don't watch UFC ever. Another yeah. report. Right, so I'm just going to try and <laughs> so take a picture. He says, don't watch UFC ever when we're literally watching it in your house next week. What? What? When? 23rd of July, mate. All ah, right, yeah. UFC London. You did tell all of these it was on Zoom and that, didn't you? Yeah. Damn. I'm just hoping he like, downloaded it in advance. But the fact that I've got no one in the waiting room yet tells me maybe not. Right. Okay. Um, Who's beeping cars on? People who are annoying. Okay. You know when you used to have the, the computer in that room? Was it the other end by the window instead? But you confuse me. <laughs> so you know when you had the computer in that in this room previously? Yeah. Was it where it is now or was it the other end of the room by the window? To the side. Yeah, I thought so. At a very bright window at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's obviously very sunny outside. Um yeah, so I, I miss Scarface being behind you. I mean Joker, not Scarface. You used to have Scarface. Say. When you lived, when you were in your Mars, you had a Scarface poster. Yeah. In my defense. It, it was actually like a frame thing and you'd sort yeah. of moved as you walked past. Yeah. Old Toy Story shit going on. Oh, right. So, uh, you threw me off there. I was like, what? You didn't have anything Toy Story, did you? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't take much to throw you off. Though, <laughs> um, so, Lewis is trying to get on. <laughs> um. I've sent them all the link. Sean. Still got no one in the waiting room at the minute. Brief intermission. <laughs> uh, lad, according to my computer here, the weather's getting hotter. It's meant to go cooler, but it's getting later and hotter. That's that, 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 um, I don't like, like earlier, sound on, that. earlier on, it was 24 degrees. Now, apparently, it's 28 degrees. This is 
it's an option of what you should be doing. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good enough. Hey, do us a favour. Is your phone on? Do not disturb. Uh, maybe. I don't think it is because I'm pretty sure I can hear the vibration every time Lewis is sending a message with it. Yeah, good vibration. Um, okay, so we've got Ben Billingsley. Uh, let's see what he says. He says, I think I'm in, so I think that is Ben. Okay. So let's see if it is him. Green Square. So we have Ben. Hello. Yo. What's happening? You're okay? You all right? Oh, good, man. You're, just, you're not on the green square right now on us. Green square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah because I was connected to the car. <laughs> um, right. Couldn't send us um, the link again, probably, because the one I copied apparently isn't working. All right, so at least you know it's all your fault. Yeah. I can't be, like, obviously Ben got in, so it's partially my fault. It was fault. a bit weird. I, it said, um, Zoom's not valid. And then it was asking me to do a um, launch through the app. Uh, so it's Zoom's fault. Yeah, fuck Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, so roasting today. Yeah, let's yeah. just been saying that we the fact that it's getting hotter. <laughs> like, yeah, You're in the car as well. It's, oh yeah, like madman doing it in the car, lad. I just dropped, I just dropped some sweets off then and uh, had a customer, so I, I just uh, just parked up in the middle of hiding at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Two dogs. <laughs> so are people getting the candy crave on. People getting stocked up on the good stuff. <laughs> right. So sent the links over to. Oh, yeah. There's Lewis. Me not paying attention there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Am I in? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. just we can only see you partially. <laughs> oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. There it is. I'm here. <laughs> Lad, that's a that's a nightmare. That <laughs> didn't have a clue how to use that at all. The, the yeah. first thought he was on that Omega or something, didn't he? Just like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, you know what? In fairness, we normally just send the link over, so I don't know why Keaton done it different this time. Blame him. I did Zoom, Zoom's fault. I think Andy's having a bit of trouble, uh, but you get there eventually. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry. Episodes like this, we're used to people turning up like late and having trouble with it and all that, so. And... Although we turned up late, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. There he is. Right, very good. Let me go back to Twitch. Where are you? Okay, where's it? It is. <laughs> the shoulders on him. The shoulders are out, lad. I can't even hear you. What's happening? What's happening, lad? What's happening? You're right. We can hear you're all good. We've got you. Um, so. Everyone's in. We managed it. <laughs> that, that was, that was the... hassle, that lad. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, so we're just going to record for that audio as well, and then we'll get started. So welcome to another episode of Super Necessary. Um, so as you can see, we're joined by three of the guys from uh, Titanium. We're going to be fighting on Kingdom uh, 20th of August. So, great you could join us, lads. Thanks for joining us. Oh, um, so, for those of you who don't know, we've got Lewis Humphreys, Ben Kiffin, and Anthony McGovern. How are we all, lads? We all, everyone okay? Yeah, I'm I'm good. good. So, um, we'll jump right into it then. So, 
how we know always start these episodes will go around the three years and just uh, ask questions one by one. So first and foremost for everyone is if you want to start first, Lewis, how did you get started in MMA? Um, I started off in kickboxing uh, with my cousin, Connor Hughes. You don't know him. He's my yeah. cousin. Um, so I started off kickboxing with him. And uh, I, sort of, I sort of knew I wanted to do MMA, so I just needed somewhere to start off sort of thing. Um, and then same with Connor for a bit. And then met my old coach through Connor. Um, and then it sort of went from there, obviously. And then I switched to, to Titanium now. So uh, not very a long story, but that's how I got into it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Connor was your cousin, the, the Ice yeah. King guy. Yeah. <laughs> Someone Next. just just someone just <laughs> blasting M M&M, and M there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you so, <laughs> yeah, Andy, do you want to uh, go next, mate? What was your start like? Uh, I started off in the Thai boxing when I was younger, like about five. I think I started. Then uh, about ten, I went to the boxing. Um, and then ever since, whenever uh, my dad's been in titanium. The, Gav's wanted me to get into the MMA. He's been picking at me slowly, but uh, but then I, when COVID came, it went all dead. That the, the boxing, so just I just bit the bullet and made the move. Yeah, it was, it's so, so as Gav, Gav just being come at you like you need to go into MMA. Yeah, Gav Mealy has been wanting want me to, and then um, Gav Hughes too. They both been want me to. And you've been you've been slowly every every year they uh, pricking at me and then just came to a bit where the boxing went slow, so I just done yeah. it. And uh, there's a few years, isn't there? There's a there's a few of them McGovern's, isn't he? Yeah, there's little Tank, <laughs> Liam, Ah and then me. Little Oh, are you all doing MMA eyes? Nah, yeah, our Tank does the. Tie and the MMA, and then our Jack does the tie box, and he doesn't do MMA. Is, is Gav gonna get Jack to get into it? Is he? Yeah, I'm sure he will. He will eventually <laughs> win. You's all over eventually. Yeah, it'd be, be like having the Diaz brothers, but they'll be free McGovern's. Three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ben, how did you get started? Um, I was just. I was just getting terrified a little bit in school. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's show everyone. So I started. Um, my mum knew knew Phil Cheng, who trained with Terence Yu in Liverpool BJJ Lifestyle back in the uh, back in the day. So I I I done that for about three months. Thought I was a uh, thought I was the top dog. <laughs> and then went into school for the next person who says something to me. <laughs> Drop again, and then just got filled in in school. <laughs> and then um, oh. I just cracked on with that for a little bit. And then I knew um, Charlie Barmer, who trains, who now trains at um, um, the MMA Academy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But he trained, he trained, like, yeah, it's like a mixture, isn't it? But he trained at Titanium originally, and he was like, "Oh yeah, come." come down and I was like yeah go on yeah and then <laughs> Char- Charlie as I went down we'd done a grappling session first and like obviously I was good at the grappling so Charlie must have thought oh yeah he's good he's good all around so then we had the stand up spar I'd never done any stand up in my life <laughs> Charlie proper filled me in and it was my first session and I was like oh I don't want to go back to me dad and he was just like oh go on just keep going back and then I ended up going back and not long after I'd started Charlie um Switch gym, so then it was sort of like Kieran, who me and Kieran and Dylan and that who were the young the younger lads in the gym, and we we cracked on from there. Yeah, and uh, Lewis, you're terrible, you lads. Was you laughing at the fact that he was getting bullied or the fact that you need to start? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, this is the way you said it. it was just, I was just getting terrified in school. I just make you laugh all that shit. That's bad. <laughs> and it makes me laugh, lad. <laughs> at least there. Uh, at least getting tired and filled in, and that didn't put you off, lad. I know. Yeah, used to it now. Lad, at yeah. least he was honest, lad. At least he was honest, like, lad, was getting tired in school, weren't I? So I had to sort it out. So at least he was honest. Yeah, yeah. just sorted it out and carried on getting filled in. 
But but the, that's just sort of like the sport, and you know when you go in at the start, whether it's BJJ or whatever, you're going to be the one getting filled in, aren't you? So it's you got to just keep pushing, and then eventually you start filling people in. <laughs> you know. You'll be the filler. The what? <laughs> You'll be the filler. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so next time lads let's move on to your fights obviously as Quinn said earlier you're fighting on Kingdom uh, 20th of August um, we'll go around again just get your thoughts on your, your opponents so Lewis we'll come back to you what's your thoughts on Tyler Matthews um, I was matched with him in the first Kingdom uh, when I was at the old gym um, and I had to pull out uh, about, I think it was about two weeks out so, so I was originally matched with them anyway um, so we got it rematched when obviously I came over to Titanium and um, I feel like it's a good fight for me he's tall lad South poor um, so he brings it to be honest with you yes. not more than that just looking to scrap with him um, listen anywhere it goes it's I'm uh, confident everywhere so I'll be ready for everything. I hope he brings it though. Yeah. Um, Anthony, what, what have you made about your opponent, Marco uh, Chattel, is it? Uh, I don't even know his name, Mark. <laughs> uh, I don't, don't know much about him, to be honest. I know he's from Spain. Um, but really, I don't really only pay attention to who I've got to fight. I just, just fight, in it? How it is. I uh, don't really know much about him, though. <clears throat> you, just, you just know he's got a decent tan. Yeah, that. I was gonna say no. I'd say your tan's better than this, to be honest. Mine's better. No, yeah, yours is well better than this. Yeah. Thought you were talking about me then. I was gonna say that. It's the light, lads. It's the light. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so Ben, yourself obviously you're fighting Jake McHugh. This is um one that was meant to happen after the first one. So obviously I'm guessing you've had a, a good chance to, to look at him. What do you make of him as an opponent? Um, yeah, that's, obviously I was fighting on... I was meant to fight him originally on the first kingdom and then it never never went through. And then he was fighting before me, so I never I never seen that. I was, like, warming up. But I was, <laughs> funnily enough, I was warming up next to him, to be honest, like, in, in the same room as him. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them. I don't really... I'm not someone to go in and go... Uh, Let's break down what he does and look at him and make the fight all about him. And you know what I mean? It's about me, to be honest. And I'm just focusing on me and filling filling any holes I think I've got in my game, just to be ready for anyone. To be honest, I'm not. I think, especially an amateur, it's not about being ready for Chase McHugh or being ready for whoever you're fighting. It's about being ready for anyone and being able to go pro with that mindset that you can beat anyone who's in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've been looking forward to that fight <laughs> since it was announced. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to all of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think to be honest, I, I don't think people realise the talent that you've got in titanium, and I think that's due to a bit of inactivity. What's the level like in titanium at the minute, and what can people expect from from titanium? It's it's up there at the moment. Like I'd say, like even even. With us and then the kids as well. They, they make some of them kids mates the proper, proper talented and the killers, lad. But I, I feel like give us a year and we'll we'll be up there with the best. To be honest with you, I, have, I, I confidently believe that. Like I do yeah, believe yeah. that. Definitely. Yeah, he, he, he's getting. He's got the two best coaches. Got the two best coaches and Gavin and my dad Tony. So can't, yeah. Can't, and yeah, not just MMA as well, like Thai and yeah. K1, everywhere will be up there with the best. Give us a year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, so <coughs> we're gonna oh that is um we're gonna go round just again. Um just ask you the individual question. Um this t- this time then we'll start with you because I ordered them that way so it's just kind of going the opposite way now <laughs> um, but you mentioned there about that, the the amateur career and that obviously you're still young in yours you frame one although people argue you're four and now um, you, he is four and now there you go see I need to talk a second for someone to say yeah it um, is <laughs> but 
obviously you fought once each year from 2019 and obviously now two in this year. Yeah. Was was that almost meant for you to take your time in your amateur career of or the team um, prevented you from fighting as often? Um I don't know. It was the back of it was the back of 20, 2019, wasn't it, when I made my debut in the fusion. Yeah. That that was like um because I had my first tie fight a few months before that, and then I, I had a few on the bounce. So I had two tie fights and then my first MMA fight in the space of like three months. Then I had my first like amateur day lockdown, um, rebelling, weren't it? Lockdown. Yeah. And then there was, lo- there, there was lockdown until that. And then there was lockdown was a nightmare. Me and Kieran trained about for about three different fights. We'd done three full camps throughout lockdown and every single one of them got cancelled. We trained for Prebellum. Then there was another two shows. That, then I think there was one, there was one that was meant to go on in Ireland or in Scotland or something and they, they all got cancelled. So we we wanted to be active and then I, I had uh, the British title fight I had last year was meant to go on in lockdown as well and they all just kept getting cancelled. So then last, last year, I had the first Thai fight that came through, which was the title fight in the Grand Central. I had that in May. That was just the first one that sort of popped up. And I didn't know that was an MMA show until, well, until like a week before, really, when I seen loads of other MMA fighters on, or I would have liked to get on MMA. Yeah. But I ended up fighting on that. And then I got offered the title fight from Nation. So then I thought, oh, I'll do that. And then I thought, right, I, I want to be an MMA fighter. Do you know what I mean? That, I've, I've had me tie, I've had me experience, it's fun. Let's get stuck into it. So then I had that fight in November. And then there was King Kingdom just just gone. And now obviously trying to keep the ball rolling from there. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes now that we're sort of out of lockdown, it's sometimes we forget that it that happened, you know. So yeah. It's yeah, it's really, didn't it? Just disappeared, didn't it? Yeah. It's mad. Disappeared off the face of the earth. Just went just, away. Bring it back. <laughs> no, don't bring oh, it back because then we don't, we don't see his fight anymore. Mate, if it came back, I'd be yeah. 110 key easy. <laughs> Not even a problem. What are you now? No, yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sad now. I, I had a bit of an uh, extended camp. It was a bit of a fat twat. So, uh, <laughs> we had to have a bit of a longer camp for me because uh, I was a bit, a bit overweight. But I'm all right now. I'm sad. Uh, right, lad, if you needed an extended camp because you were overweight, lad, I'd, I'd need a camp full time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you like that? Uh, are you like that? Are you just you? You're basically a fat cunt when you're not fighting. I am and I'm not at the same time, I, lad. I love my food, like, and it it, it, it is hard because like people don't realise how hard it actually is dieting and that. They go, ah, oh, it's all right. You only have to diet for fucking eight weeks, but. It is hard, lad. Anyone will tell you that. Um, you, see, you see loads of fighters, they go fucking fat instantly after the fight, don't I mean? Um, but yeah, I do too, to be fair. Can't, yeah. can't say I don't. I go massive. Uh, the, the, people who, <clears throat> the people who are saying that to you about dieting the people that have tried it for a week are like, oh no, can't do it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> no, people who don't even have a clue, just like, oh yeah, I do what you do easy. I'm like, come on, mate. Yeah. Because so when you're eating the good foods, yeah, yeah, it does, it does. It feels safe. It's electric. <clears throat> yeah. I enjoy it when you're out of camp, though, lads. You don't, you don't get yeah. the answers as well as do you, so. Yeah. Um, it, it, is it wise to be talking about food right now, considering there's a, a few <laughs> I'm weeks I'm all right, out. me, lad. I'm, I'm, I'm shy, me. I'm all right myself. I'm not even that bad. No, we don't, right I don't feel we all have problems with our weight, to be honest. I think yeah. we're pretty, we're pretty we're good with our weight. Wait till so, we're too uh, out, then, then it'll be a bad thing. Yeah, right. then it'll be a bad thing. Like, for uh, I think we're all week, all right. No salt or sugar that week is <laughs> just a proper killer. I'm not, I'm not for that, you know. I'm no. not looking forward to it. Like, I get that angry me when I don't eat. Yeah, kind of oh, like, I'm the worst, lad. I'm the worst. You get angry. When people, <laughs> like, when people eat in front of me, when I'm like, I eat and they eat, oh, what's going on here? And then they're eating like, Fucking cakes in front of me, why and you like that pisses me off that bad, I'll be honest. I eat it when they don't finish it, me. Yeah. Like, leave like, it on the side, lads. Like I want to eat that, but I can't. <laughs> you start shouting at them fucking eat it now. Like, 
Yeah. It, you it's doing? just people testing you, lad. It's, it's putting temptation in front of you. You got to walk away from it. From I'm it. Telling you, lad. <laughs> telling you. Then they start standing there, just oozing over it. Like, ah. oh, lad. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I dream, lad. I dream about it. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I just sit there oh looking, God. looking on Instagram, lad, because I'm I'm a proper fatty at heart, lad. Oh, lad I'll just sit on Instagram looking at food, lad. Oh, lad, I'm not explore. Oh, only yeah, lad. Oh my God, lad. I just look at everything. That that, that explore page really. can be can be a pain in the ass. Like as soon as you click it, it's like seven <laughs> comes up. Oh, it comes in. And if I'm Lewis and Def, I've got like an Instagram account just yeah. for food, the separate one. Yeah, lad, I'll... <laughs> I just use my own to be honest. Uh, lad. <laughs> What's going on there, lad? <laughs> What's going on with this thing, lad? <laughs> Sounds like a fucking robot. Uh, I think he's gone in. Yeah, I think we've lost Ben. We've minute. lost Ben. But anyway, yeah, lad, I just go on my own Instagram, lad, and like them all, so everyone sees that. <laughs> that's what I'm having after the fight, lad. Yeah. <laughs> but the, like, the weight isn't really a problem, to be honest. I don't, like I said, I don't think none of us really struggle with all them. Um, got a good team around us, so we've got it all right, to be honest, I think. Yeah. Is it easier when, like, there's, um, like, a good few of you in camp? Because, like, you yeah, know, yeah, I think it, the yeah, same it definitely is, isn't it? A little easier. You push each other, and, like, you know, especially with diets, you just talk about food and, what each other are doing and you push each other in training. So I, I think it's it's better when there's more people fighting rather than just you know, one of us fighting or two of us. I get lazy then, don't you? But yeah, you, you get know. lazy. Yeah. So yeah, we've uh, <laughs> we've lost Ben for the minute, but I'm sure he'll be back in a minute. So, but uh, we'll just carry on. So I need the next the next question was for you anyway. So uh, this is your this is your MMA debut, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as you mentioned before, you've done you've done Thai and you've done boxing in the past. Um, have the preparations been any different for this fight as opposed to a boxing or a Thai fight? Um, yeah, because I've been having to learn another trade in it, haven't I? It's a rest, a wrestling. So um, load of me camp's been just wrestling to be honest. Uh, you know I've got the stand up, so don't need to worry about that. And also, you no know, getting new range in the little gloves. Mm. But uh, no, I'm flying at the minute, lad. It's so good, so good. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to the boxing? Is it, have you picked it up quite uh, to the wrestling? Sorry, have you picked it up quite quick? Yeah, it's surprisingly. Yeah, lad. the first like and few, God. the first oh, few back. a bit edgy. Yes, Ben. I'm yeah, gonna the, do it. I need it to get to get to higher land. <laughs> 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 So they can't like that looking man, like where can I go? <laughs> ah, he, he's got one of he's them iPhones on the internet, like, lad. Yeah, he's got one of them iPhones with an antenna on and that lad. So yeah. Nobody was saying. <laughs> when, when he comes back, I need to ask him who Ben Billingsley is. I don't know. Yeah. I, know, yeah, I was thinking that myself. Uh, yeah, fuck I that. That. <laughs> Let's ben say Billingsley on this show. That's Ben's name, there. Ben Billingsley. What's name is Ben Kiffin? I've been caught out with any identities. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> hang on, how do I get this back to how it was before? Um, no, I, I, and Billings, he's just um, so when my mum and dad got married, it was just a bit awkward the way the names went through. And be, <laughs> we just got had off by the lawyer. My dad sent him the um, sent him the money to to like for our names to get changed, and he just just ne- never ever got back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he just oh, never got back to bounce, us. Lad. <laughs> so, yeah. we'll just what's going on? We've all just sort of. I was waiting to get it to nineteen. I mean, to eighteen to change it, and I just haven't really got around to it. But that's just me official name because I used to use Zoom for my old job, so I've had to put my proper name, making my passport name for it. So your fight name's Ben Kiffin. Yeah, that, that's me. That's me name, like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man's got a stage name and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Fucking oh, no. hell. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, Lewis, this one's for you. So, obviously, the last time uh, you fought was in August last year. So, obviously, when you start, you'll be. When you compete on Kingdom, it'd be close to a year. So, what's been the, the focus for, for you in that time out? 
Um, well, obviously, I had a bit, a few big changes. Obviously, I swapped gym and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> everything really, it's not, it's not more so anything changing. It's more so making my skills better. Um, because I think I'm pretty well rounded, to be honest with you. And I don't think my record reflects my skill, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, because. I've had I've had I've had a few fight books and they've been obviously like knocked back and whatever. So to be honest, it gave me more time to prepare. Because going into that fight, I had a few injuries and maybe I shouldn't have been fighting. It it didn't matter now. Like, but um, yeah, more so like just improving on what I've got rather than what I haven't. To be honest, because I think what I've got is pretty good, a good base, and obviously we worked on it with Gavin and Tony and. I think um, everywhere it goes now, it's it, I'm a problem for most people, to be honest. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, I'll be back. Uh, sorry, yeah, no just got a bit of interruption downstairs. Um, no worries. There's chaos in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> there is. I'll be two seconds. It's right, but it's for you now. Don't worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. No. So yeah. You, Problem for anywhere the fight goes. Are you just? Do you just? Do you haven't looked at the at your opponent? You do just not think he's a problem for yeah. you anywhere. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. I think he's. A, I think he's a solid opponent. I'll be honest with you. Um. But like, that's quite me. I just didn't didn't really get to show much. To be honest with you, and I sort of cringe when I look at that fight because I like I'm like ten times better than that. Um. But yeah, yeah, I cringe at that fight to be honest with you because he, like, I thought I was gonna have a at the time I thought he was gonna strike and he, I could see he was nervous and he grabbed me straight away, um, and engaged wrestling and I was sort of like, me ego took over a bit there. I was like, well, fuck you, I'm gonna wrestle you now, sort of thing. So I didn't really get to show much striking, um, but this time obviously, um, I'm trying to put it all on case to be honest. Yeah. So. You know when you when you're looking back at your old performances and that, do you think yeah. it's do you think it's a good thing that you can notice like holes in your own game when you're watching it? Yeah, like I, I think it is. I think most fighters I tell you the same thing. They look at the last fight and they're like, oh, that's fucking terrible that. But I think that's just the that's just a thing with fighters to be honest. Because yeah. I know I know I know people I spoke to they're like, Yeah, I'm the same lad. So I'm uh, excited to show what, what we've done. Um working with Gavin Tony and that I'm, I'm excited to show and show it these as well. Yeah, no, can't wait for it. Um, so this one's for all three years, and I'll go round one by one. Um, you've obviously got great coaches, as you mentioned. You got Tony, you got Gav. How invaluable is their knowledge and life experience, and how much have you learned from from them? Um, do you want to go first, Anthony? Uh, well, I've always had my dad really, to be honest, from the start. So, so he's always helped me, but he's really starting to like improve me stand up now as I'm getting to get more time with them. And then for Gav, obviously I'm new to the wrestling, so every, it's just, it's miles, it's miles, it's just so good, it's work, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, they, just, they are top coaches, but they can't get any better. Stand no, up. Yeah, the top life. So when you're working with Gav, do you have to sort of, are you like a sponge, just picking up everything he's doing? Yeah, that that's exactly what it is. I'm like that with everyone, even with Ben and Lewis. They've helped me massively themselves. Not just not just the coaches, but the lads. Uh, well, just... what what about Marcus? Oh. No. <laughs> Don't give him He's... air time, lad. Don't oh. give him air time. He'll love it so much. Lad. I, 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 oh, he'll I, be made up with it, lad. Man, <laughs> want air time. Don't shut up about it. <laughs> We're going for that, for that after weeks. Lad. No comments. <laughs> No comment for Marcus <laughs> Allen, lad. Are you said his full name now? Could have meant any Marcus. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucked up there, haven't I? <laughs> he's he's going to be walking around the gym right now. I got full named on the podcast. Like, yeah, you got full <laughs> named and everything. Mr. Marcus Allen. <laughs> he loves it, lad. He loves it. Um, so what, what about yourself, Ben? How, how important is, is their knowledge and how much are you learning from them? Yeah, it's... Um... <clears throat> Pretty much, like, all I was when I came to the gym was just a little gee nerd, do you know what I mean? I was just, like, some 
<laughs> All I had in my back pocket was a flying triangle. I could just run around doing that to everyone in, in the gym. And, and like Dave, Dave taught me everything. Every, and I know Tony, funnily enough, Tony, when I first came in the gym, because Tony's mates with my dad. And he pulled me dad aside and said, look, I'm, I'm a really good coach, but, you know, I'm not a miracle worker. He is like, he is like Bambi on ice. I've never, he said, I've never seen anyone with, with such an unusual tactic to fight. And it, honest to God, it was, it was mental. And just, just to see how far I come every three months, I'll, I'll, I can look back at myself and just say, uh, just say, it's improved so much. And that's something Gab's big on. It's just, you're not training to beat the person you're fighting, you're training to beat the last person who fought. So I'm training to beat that last Ben Kiffin, do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. something Gab's yeah. installed in you. And as much as Gab's an amazing coach, obviously stand-up, striking, wrestling, grappling, all that side, he's taught me so much there. It's it's it's, it's the mental side of fighting Gab's, Gab's instilled in me. It's it's just such a different, it's such a different ball game. He's opened my eyes to realise, I think, Fighting's a hundred percent mental sport. It's all mental power, and it's all like a, a spiritual fight. You know what I mean? And Gav opens your eyes to that and tells you that if you if you can be if you can mentally beat yourself, then you can go in and beat anyone. Yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why we started this uh, coach appreciation series is because the amount of things that they do for the fighters, like what you just said there, it's not just about each yeah. individual discipline. It's you know, the mental discipline that they teach you as well. You know, it's one of the big, big reasons we yeah. started that series, to give give them their, their due, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I think people just think it's a case of go in, teach it how to punch and kick, and then get off, mm. and there's so much more to it, and people don't realise that, so... Um, and obviously, by, by the sounds, it, it was much more than that with Ben when he was like Bambi. <laughs> I know, you know yeah. so. uh, <laughs> Honest to God. I, I mean, at least you proved Tony wrong, and he, he might just be a medical worker. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he can stand any broken fighter, so he. Um. So, what about yourself, Lewis? How, how important it all been for you? Well, obviously, switching gym, it was like I, I had like obviously I could have not went anywhere, but I was looking obviously at different gyms and. Obviously, I'd seen the lads fight, and obviously, I knew of Gav, knew of Tony, because uh, of the coaching, basically, and obviously Gav fighting. Um, so I sort of knew it was the place, to be honest with you, because I'd spoke to a few people, and I knew it was the place for me. Like so, I went in, and and the first conversation I had with Gav was, it couldn't have went any better, to be honest, because he was like, he looked at what I had, and he was like, what we'll do. It's not 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 fight how he wants me to fight. Will work on me, which I think is the best thing for me to be honest. And uh, the same with Tony, they just, just work on what you've got rather than going no. This is the right way. This is how you should fight. So I think that was very important. And as Ben said, the mental side as well, because ninety percent of it is mental. To be honest with you, um, and obviously he's instilled that in all of us. Gav, um, obviously he's very experienced, so. That played a huge factor as well. Um, it, it changed me outlook on a lot of things in fighting, um, injuries and stuff like that, how we get around it and stuff. Even like the nutrition side, weight and stuff. So, yeah, they've been very important. Obviously, coming from a different gym, you don't know what to expect. So, obviously, I couldn't have picked a better place, honestly. What was it like when you first came in? Was you, was you getting pranked in that or like being a new kid? Um. <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't even that bad. Everyone, everyone was proper sound. Like. No, nah, Marcus. All the lads just Marcus on. jumped on me straight away, lad. I, just, <laughs> I don't even know how, it's lad. It's love fucking winding him up. He's <laughs> winding him up. No, Danny. Lad, he just he takes the piss, lad. He knew, as soon as I walked in, I was like, here we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> everyone else was just dead chilled. And my, I knew Marcus 100 miles an hour. I was like, oh, <laughs> he's going to be a fucking handful in. <laughs> Still is. Um, right. So, if you've seen any of our episodes before, we like to have a bit of fun at the end. Um, so we're gonna have a little game. Uh, would you rather? Which is now. So, oh, here we go. <laughs> not to be honest. There's only one that's like 
horrible. I'm, I'll be honest with you. But he's, he's got off. <laughs> <laughs> there we oh go. I'm off. Oh my God. <laughs> no, either he meant that or was, like, that was just probably perfect timing. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's timing. So we'll give it a minute and just see if he, uh, if he comes back in. If not, he just went game for a game of Wood yeah. Ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must have watched it before then. <laughs> yeah, defo. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, we'll just give it a minute, see if he jumps back in. Like, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so, no, as I said, we've only got one audible one to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, quite tame these ones. We've yeah, got, we've got <laughs> six, I believe. We'll, we'll save the audible one till last. <laughs> there he is, he's back. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Lad, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. You you heard would you rather than you pressed up? As soon as you said it, lad, it's just my phone just turned off. I was like, oh, Sean, go ahead. It's a it's sign. Me. It's a sign. Yeah, my phone was telling me. Uh, <laughs> perfect time and that. Like to be fair, now yeah. we're just saying we've only got one audible one. To be fair, so they're all the quite same this time. This time, so, uh, Kieran, I'll let you say the first three because you come up with them ones. <laughs> nice one. Um, so the first one is would you rather be able to sh- yeah would you rather be able to shrink down to the size of an ant or grow to the size of a tall building and, and yeah and therefore get some heavy gossip yeah <laughs> big, big if you, you just suppose whatever you said but if you're an ant you can get everywhere can't you yeah yeah, but w- wouldn't you rather be like a tall building so like you'll just get wherever you want in like two steps? Yeah, but then everyone, everyone sees me then. <laughs> yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah, forward. <laughs> yeah. I'm here getting closer to be that big. Yeah. I'm just about getting my legs oh, a yeah. of jeans as it is. Really? <laughs> so we're staying incognito with the ant. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so the next one is would you rather everyone be able to hear your thoughts or be able to hear what everyone thinks about you I don't want to hear my thoughts I don't want to hear my thoughts you don't definitely want to hear my thoughts you don't want to hear not lad <laughs> so sad honestly so what yeah. you'd rather hear what everyone yeah, thinks about yeah I'd rather hear everyone else's yeah, thoughts yeah defo lad I'd be getting stacked in no time if everyone could hear my thoughts oh defo lad <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> And then you, you, you're the same rather than everyone else's. Yeah, therefore, <laughs> no one wants to listen to me. <laughs> yeah, these are all nasty little fuckers, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one is, you've got to think about this one now. So would you rather only be able to say yes to everything or be able to say no to everything? Some of the things I get asked, lad, fucking hell. The horrible one that is. Um... What do you get up to? You've got sick thoughts. You get... <laughs> nah, you know what it is? You know what it is? And I'll say it right now, lad. Mark has asked me some weird things, you know? Yeah. He does, he does, doesn't he? Mark, well, I'm thinking it. Jim. Yeah, yeah, lad. He asked, me, I, he asked me some weird things, Mark. It's like, well, um, I, I'm going to say yeah to everything. I think. Get no way of saying no. Ooh. That's it. I mean, yeah, say no to everything. That's your fight career over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Say no to every fight, like a few people. Not saying his <laughs> names though. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shots <laughs> fired! <laughs> shots fired! Ah, oh, God. Um, I like oh, I'd, ben and that need the same yeah. for you. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah, me. I, You'd be also weird yeah. shit. Yeah, I would like. He's gotta get on with it, lad. When Anthony asked me to stroke his face when I'm grappling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. He's a bad, you know. Yeah, but you, you uh, probably say yeah anyway, don't you? Without having to do that. Yeah, it's at home. Uh, <laughs> and he just, just says it quietly, though. I can tell no one else can hear it. <laughs> uh, right, so I've come up with the next three then. So, um, would you rather spend a month in the middle of the Sahara Desert or a month in the middle of the North Pole? I don't mind the cold, me. To be honest, oh, I hate. I don't like. I don't like proper heat. Mm. I don't mind heat to an extent, but that that's something different, now. So yeah, I'd say the North Pole. I like the cold, me. Die, wouldn't you? In the Sahara Desert? No. 
fool. Hide under the cactus or something. What? There's your cactus. Our, our gyms like the Sahara been for this oh, concert. It, so it probably goes to that. It lad. is, lad. Gav Hughes put the heat on on Saturday morning. Lad, it's 40 degrees outside and Gav Hughes puts the heater on in the gym, lad. <laughs> it's the winter. Proper oh, cave, man. isn't he? He loves yeah, it. Proper, though. Yeah, but I'd say cold, defo. Yeah, I'd say the North Pole myself. I'm not going to the Sahara, mate. Then go on hard to find the cactus, Sam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, would you rather go 12 rounds in a boxing match with Prime Tyson or five rounds in an MMA fight with Prime Anderson Silver? Prime Anderson Silver, all day, fucking it, are you? Yeah, oh, lad. He's lighted it, isn't he, Anderson Silver? <laughs> yeah. Makes it a bit more shit. Tyson would kill me in a round, lad. Yeah. Wouldn't even go 12 lad, he, rounds. He, lad. It wouldn't even have to be prime Tyson. It'd be Tyson now. <laughs> Tyson, Tyson now would kill ninety percent of people on this earth. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, I don't. All, all, all he has to do is that pick a bit thing. Like, lad, do you not see him on the plane? Just turn down and start banging some fella. Lad. <laughs> it's his own fault, lad. Why would you say something to my Tyson of all people, lad? Yeah, of course you're gonna get swatted. You know, yeah, he did. If you do that, he, yeah, he, he, he knew what he was doing there. Proves I was scared of Tyson much because that was the fastest answer I've ever heard to any in my life. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Not even a, that's not even a question, that lad. No disrespect to young Anderson, but <laughs> no disrespect to Anderson Silver. He probably knocked me the fuck out too. But if we had to choose, definitely yeah. my Tyson. Like, I mean, Anson, definitely Anson's... not my Tyson. <laughs> definitely like, not I my think Tyson. Anderson Silver and knock you out, and then you'd wake up 30 seconds later and you'd be sound. Mike Tyson think, knocks yeah, you out, yeah, you're forgetting you're not your waking name. up, lad. <laughs> yeah. It's a the massive difference. Like with with Sylvie, you you waking up, you're like, uh, I've just been made a show of like I couldn't even hit him there. Tyson's like, I've, I've not got any brain anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, also though, I'm not a boxer, so I'd rather do MMA to be honest. Yeah, true. I still wouldn't probably fucking do it if it was MMA either. <laughs> to be honest. So fair enough. Stay away from Tyson. That's, nice, that's nice. Quick yeah, there. definitely. Fuck that. <laughs> Right, so um, this is the one horrible one. So, I mean, we've, we've definitely asked worse ones. I'm not going to lie, like, but it's still a bit horrible. Make um, sure to ask it correctly. <laughs> I will, yeah. So, would you rather have a little bit of dog shit in every meal or a little bit of cat piss in every drink? Cat piss. Little bit. I'd cat piss all day, lad. Yeah, yeah cat piss all day. Probably shit. get that in the milk that you drink it's... anyway. I'm all weird, lad. You probably get that <laughs> in the drink anyway. <laughs> Think anyway, you can out like I reckon with, with like a drink, you can you can like I'm gonna say that like out flavor the cup is it have to go like that and just yeah, it, yeah you just, just swig it down, yeah. But like when you're proper oh, chewing, lad, uh, yeah, lad, you, oh, lad, I couldn't, I couldn't eat me, I just start spewing it. Horrible. Horrible. The, the the question was probably worse with the typo that he put in because he yeah. at first it was would you rather have a little dog in every meal so like you're just eating a full chihuahua uh, yeah. but then again lad you probably do anyway so <laughs> get started on the yeah. conspiracies with the MMA nah, community don't get, nah, nah, don't get started on these conspiracy or all, all these people watching Not that around, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. on Instagram in a minute Get cancelled for the fucking These people the thinking there's dog meat in our food. <laughs> Post on Instagram in a minute. Guarantee you. Uh, do you. Do you remember years ago when you, you were getting horse meat? Me too. It was just fucking easy. It was <laughs> fucking all <laughs> take the same anyway. Horse, horse meat, Sam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're Sam. healthy. Yeah. Um, Where's your yeah. cow, innit? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same, really, man. Yeah. So <laughs> How's a bad. horse like cow, you mad man? I, no, no, nah, cows man, don't move. That way. That's like but saying lad, I'm like you. Yeah, I barely move. You move, lad. Nah, lad. It's just a, it's just an athletic cow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, lad. Exactly. It's an athletic cow. <laughs> there we go. I like it. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna call horses that from now on. Athletic cows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um. Well, that was that was just the last question, anyway, <laughs> lads. Lad, where was you going there, lads? I was like, where the fuck's been there? On holiday. <laughs> lad, he's, he, he's in Ireland somewhere. Hello, lads. Like, that's, that's an item, that lad. Fuck on holiday. Western's oh, lad, he's driveway limited. Stop, lad. Get on me for sponsors. <laughs> and it's dead where you are there. <laughs> oh, lad. 
Uh, uh, lads, oh anyway, it's been it's been fun chatting to you. Really appreciate your time, and um, we'll be rooting for all three years from the twentieth. Uh, nice can't one. wait to see you all in action. Nice one, nice one, right. nice one. Nice one boys. Right, Take have a good weekend, boys. Take it easy, boys. See you later. See you later. There we go. That was <laughs> so. It's yeah, a chaos. If you one, but you yeah, stop recording. <laughs> Um, Gordon Stott. So yeah, uh, look out for the lads' fights on the twentieth. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I don't think we had any comments on anything. So, um, but if you've watched, thank you, appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon.